So hello, welcome back. So in the previous lectures, we saw how to access and modify portions of arrays using simple indices. For example, ARR, array of index zero, slices of array uh, five, and Boolean masks, for example, ARR, which is greater than zero. So now in, the, in this lecture, we'll look at another style of array indexing which is known as fancy indexing. Now fancy indexing is like the simple indexing we have already seen, but we pass arrays of indices in place of single scalars. This allows us to very quickly access and modify complicated subsets of an array's values. Now let's explore that. Fancy indexing is conceptually simple. It means passing an array of indices to access multiple array elements at once. For example, consider the following array like this. First, we'll start with import, import numpy as np. Now rand for random, np.random dot random state 42. Now x is equals to rand dot rand int now hundred with the size of ten. Now print x. Okay, so we get this solution. Now suppose we want to access three different elements, we could do it like this. Now we will do that in the square brackets x, now in the square brackets 3, comma x with index 7, comma x with index 2. Now we'll get this. Okay. Alternatively, we can pass a single list of array of indices to obtain the same result. Now ind is equals to 3, 7, 4. Now we get this. Oops. Yeah. X. Okay, so we get this. Now, with fancy indexing, the shape of the result reflects the shape of the index arrays rather than the shape of the array being indexed. Now, for example, let's move on to another example. IND is equals to np.array, which is 3, 7. Now, it's going to be 4, 5. Okay. So now x i n d. Oops, we got an error. Now let's see that. Okay. So I guess we fixed the error and now it's like this. Okay, fancy indexing also works in multiple dimensions. Now consider like this, x with the capital np dot a range, which is 12. Now dot reshape, which is 3 to 4. Now let's, we got this. Now like with standard indexing, the first index refers to the row and the second to the column. Now let's see that row, we'll name that np.array 0, 1, 2. Now column, we'll short form that to col np.array. We'll go with 2, 1, 3. 2, 1, 3. Okay, now x row 2, 1, 
two. Let's see that. Okay, two, five, and 11. Notice that the first value in the result is x, which is in the square bracket zero to two, and the second is x one to one. And the third is x two comma three. The pairing of indices in fancy indexing follows all the broadcasting rules that were mentioned in the previous lecture of computation on arrays broadcasting. So for example, if we combine a column vector and a row vector within the indices, we get a two dimensional results, which are x row. Now we'll put the colon now np dot new axis. Okay, now it will be call. We have this. Now here each row value is matched with column with each column vector exactly as we saw in the broadcasting of arithmetic operations. For example, now row we have np dot new axis it's gonna multiply by col and we have this now it is always important to remember with fancy indexing that the return value reflects the broadcasted shape of the indices rather than the shape of the array being indexed okay so now let's move on to another lecture which in which we will discuss the combined indexing.